man must know that his power lies in the stillness of his centering self and not in the motion by means of which he manifests that stillness. He must know that his self is God in him. Also he must know gradually the dawning awareness of the cosmic light of God in him. For with it comes an awareness of his purposefulness in manifesting the light and the power to manifest it. Man must now know the universe of God for what it is instead of what his senses have made him to believe it to be. Also he must know that this forever creating universe which seems so real to him is but a cosmic cinema conceived by the master playwright. It is but an electrically projected spectrum colored light and sound wave motion picture play of cause and effect thrown on the black screen of image space and time. The cause is real. The effect is but a simulation of the reality. The self of man is cause. His self-creating body is effect. God's universe of magnetic light is static. God's perpetually creating electric wave universe of two moving lights is dynamic. It forever moves. The two moving lights are projected through each other from the static one to create the illusion of the ideal they but manifest. The illusion which manifests the ideal of creation through seeming motion is not the ideal which it seemingly manifests. Creation is the product of mind knowing expressed in form by mind thinking. The product of mind is not the ideal which it sim simulates. No ideal of mind is ever created. It is but simulated by form and motion. Ideal is eternal and belongs to God's still universe of knowing. Form of ideal in matter is transient, but is eternally repeated as transient form of ideal. The Positive Principle The foundation of the spiritual universe is stillness, the balanced stillness of the one magnetic light of God. Balanced stillness is the positive principle of stability and unity. In it there are no negations. The Negative Principle The foundation of the physical universe is motion, the ever-changing motion arising out of pairs of unbalanced conditions which must forever move to seek the balanced stillness of unity from which they sprang as multiple pairs of units. Unbalanced motion is the negative principle of instability, multiplicity and separateness which is this physical universe of electric octave waves of opposed lights. In the negative principle there is no positive. It is composed entirely of pairs of negations which are forever voiding each other, cancel canceling each other's action and reaction, thus negating each other by never allowing either one to exceed its fixed zero of universal stillness. Quality begets quantities. The still magnetic light universe of God's knowing is an invisible, unchanging, unconditioned, and unmeasurable quality from which visible, changing, conditioned, and measurable quantities spring to simulate those qualities through two wave two-way wave motion. There is no one word in any language to express that quality, so we must use many words, all having the same meaning but different connotations. These words are mind, consciousness, love, life, truth, desire, knowledge, power, balance, and law. 
The God quality of the one light is seemingly transformed into quantities by being divided into pairs of oppositely conditioned light pressures of this electric universe. These divided pairs are then multiplied into countless octave wave units of light pressures and set in opposite directioned motion to create the illusion of sequence change, dimension, condition, and time in a universe where none of these effects of motion exist. The calm sea, for example, is an unchanging, unmeasurable quality of oneness, of sameness and stillness. Upon its calm surface there is no change, nothing to count or to measure. The moment that quantities of waves spring from this quality of calm, those quantities can be measured. Likewise, they are forever changing, nor are there two points in them which are similarly conditioned. This creating electric universe is composed of moving light waves which sprang from a calm sea of the one still light. It is a universe of moving pairs of quantities which simulate the quality of stillness from which those quantities spring. The quantities of divided and conditioned pairs of opposite lights, which thus simulate the one, are not the one they simulate. The Creator is one mind indivisible. Creation is one whole ideal of mind divided into countless simulated ideals of mind through motion. The simulation of ideal thus expressed is not the ideal that it expresses. Parts of the one whole ideal are only seeming. There are no two separate or separable things in the universe. There is but one whole simulation of the one whole ideal. From the Divine Iliad, God says, Everything that is is of everything else that is. All things are indissolubly united. Every happening anywhere happens everywhere. The milkweed fluff floating lazily in the summer sky affects the balance of the whole universe of suns and galaxies. Every part of the universe moves in interdependent unison as the wheels of a watch move in unison. The watch wheels are geared together mechanically. The rhythmic wave universe is geared together electrically. The entire universe is one and must be kept in balance as one. Changes of condition in any one part are simultaneously reflected in every other part and are sequentially repeated in it. Now these are some words from the Divine Iliad that God spoke. Say thou these things in words of men's knowing, for verily I say, I am within all things, without all things, and involved in all things, for I am everywhere. All things are omnipresent, for all things extend from mind of me, and I am omnipresent. All omnipresent things are omnificent, for I am within them, and I am omnificent. When man's consciousness telleth him of my presence within and without him, he will then know all things, for I know all things, and I am he. All thinking things manifesteth all power when consciousness within them recognizeth their omnipotence. Until then, things are not but things, manifesting me not, being but blank slates upon which to write my mighty thoughts for blind eyes. For I am omnipotent. I give all power to him who asketh, but no one may ask of me who is not aware of me. See thou to it that man well knoweth that, and manifest thou thyself that principle of power in thine own works. For I say to all the imaged forms of my imagining, that power lieth in them to manifest the balanced light which centereth them, by making the one light appear as two unbalanced lights, 